Musician and actress Jennifer Lopez returns already for another hit film, fresh off of her last hit film, This Is Me, dot dot dot, now. Here she's on Netflix and not Amazon Prime, and I feel like she's really at home here, because this is the place to be when you want to release a film that your mom can watch while she's doing laundry in the other room. And the film today she's going to be folding those fresh sheets with is Atlas. Let's talk about it. Jennifer Lopez plays Atlas Shepard, a genius in the field, an expert at analytics, an expert at figuring out the next move. She's also great at chess. And my God, does she fit into a pair of pants like no other. They basically had to graft those onto her body, and there is absolutely no way they're coming off. You would need the jaws of life to unwedge these from her giant ass. And hold on, that's not a negative. I like a nice caboose, and Jenny from the block has still got it. At the ripe young age of 105 years old, Jennifer Lopez has proved that with time, effort, and mainly money, you can still look freaking fantastic. Unfortunately, Atlas does not. There was a game that came out many moons ago called Titanfall, and that's kind of what this movie reminds me of. Same graphics, too, from the Xbox 360 when that game came out. It's just very fake looking. Basically a video game cutscene from 10 years ago. The premise is simple. There's a war going on between man and machine. AI has taken over. They've infiltrated the human race and they are hell-bent on destroying it once and for all. Harlan is the leader of the faction played by Simu Liu, aka Shang-Chi. Well, he said Shang-Chi a later and he went to another planet off-grid with his army. And now it is up to Atlas and the military to bring him to justice, or better yet, kill his ass outright so that this war doesn't go south. There was definitely a good amount of money sucked into this. I don't know why or who the demographic really is for this film. Because on one level, it's, okay, an action movie, but then on another level, it's not really an action movie. There are some moments where there's fighting and stuff going on, but whenever that's not happening, it's a drama. It's a melodrama with Jennifer Lopez crying constantly. I know. It's so out of character for her. But no, she's a sad sack through most of this movie because Atlas has a lot of baggage. She's got a history with AI, and it's not a good one. Her mother was also in the field and she was brilliant and she developed a rapport with the AI, with these robotic androids and they became really a family dynamic at the end of the day, but every family has its problems. And this one certainly was one that was going to be hard pressed to uh, mend. Which brings us to Atlas. She's headstrong, she's confident, but she's also really a weeping sad sack of shit for a lot of the film. One who's going to hold those emotions in as tight as she can, put them down, and then lock them away behind some really tight jeans. After about a half hour, it's clear what this movie has become. It's a soap opera with a big sci-fi budget. And we're going to spend a lot of time with Jennifer Lopez inside of a mech suit, having conversations with an AI that she's uh, not really wanting to get to know because she doesn't trust them because they're a wily bunch. After about an hour, which is what I do with most Netflix movies, I find myself wandering off in my own head, just kind of thinking about other things going on in the world. Occasionally an explosion or something will snap me back for a second, but for the most part, I'm just not invested at all because nothing on the screen wants me to invest in it. It just wants to be there. It just wants to exist to kind of pad out the runtime at two hours long, keep a safe PG-13 so you can get as many people watching as you can on the app. And that's really about it at the end of the day. It's just about having eyes on the app, having new stuff come out all the time to keep you occupied. Because bam, you're doing the dishes, you throw on Atlas, that movie with uh, Jenny from the block. I liked her back in the day. She seems like a fun person. She still looks fine on the eyes. Let's put that on. Tomorrow, there might be a new Ryan Reynolds movie on the app. And the day after that, we might have a new Chef Ramsay show. You just don't know what you're going to get, but you're always kind of surprised and you're always disappointed. I can't even think of the last time a Netflix movie came out, an exclusive, that I was like, wow, what a tr- Oh, never mind, Rebel Moon. Rebel Moon was a real was a real gem, wasn't it? I will say this. Adel Ass is actually better than Rebel Moon Part 1 and 2. Because I don't really think you can get much worse than that. 
Sterling K. Brown and Mark Strong show up once in a while to cash a paycheck, but there's really not much here for them to do at all. They're playing their part. They're giving the easiest amount of effort they can, and they're going to walk away with this uh, unscathed. And listen, Jennifer Lopez jokes aside, she's fine here. She does a decent enough job, but the character sucks. She just has to cry and argue and feel bad all the time, and that's just not very fun to watch play out. Equally not as fun to watch is her pretending to be inside of a mech suit that has no real weight to it. These things just kind of hop around easily wherever. They don't feel that impact when they hit the ground. It's, it's, it's just so nothing constantly with Netflix movies. And here we are again, addle ass. It's just nothing. I'd love to hear from you on this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is great. And the sound effects, the sound design, the graphics, the effects, everything isn't just stock boilerplate shit I've seen like 50 times now in the last two years. Maybe I'm completely wrong and it's revolutionary and different and unique and it's a captivating two-hour movie. No, I don't think so. But uh, again, opinions, right? We all have them. And hopefully you like mine and you stick around. Hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate that. And uh, you could even like the video. Comment below. I think that helps with the algorithm. And hopefully I'll catch you next time. Take care.